You just said my rewrite hit the bullseye. Girls do not do rewrites. Why not? That's simply how we do things here. We have rules, protocol. This is ridiculous. Good Girls Revolt is about a group of young women who have their dream job at a weekly magazine, and they ask to be treated fairly. That very simple, brave request wreaks havoc on their love lives and their sex lives and friendships and family relationships. Ben, we got a story here. The book that inspired this show is called The Good Girls Revolt by Lynn Povich, who was a researcher at Newsweek magazine. We fictionalized the characters, except for Nora Ephron and Eleanor Holmes Norton. Who is that? She needs from the ACLU. So that we were free to examine relationships in their most psychological aspects. Good morning, my whispering coven. During that time, the only men who were writing the articles and all the women were doing all the research and really doing the writing. What? You're pretty cute when you got a scoop. The women did most of the work passed on the stories that were reported and investigated and written by them to their male reporters who were their superiors. And so these girls all have different trajectories and different assignments in their lives. Suddenly, they're given some awareness by a newcomer named Nora Ephron. What? It's like you guys are fighting over the lower bunk bed in jail. Who gets to make the guys who are writing the story look better? Women began to change, and men didn't understand what that change was. How are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm frustrated. We show them questioning the way things have always been done. So I think the tone of the series will be sexy, joyous, edgy, and full of rock and roll. Where were you gals tonight? You're at a meeting. <laughs> kind of meeting. The kind where women take out compacts and look at their vaginas. <clears throat> and in the backdrop of all of this, marriages are breaking up, love triangles, heartbreak, and very unusual alliances in the newsroom. When we stand united, ladies, we can do anything. You know, maybe things could change. Maybe we could start something. Talk to some of the girls. Two are better than one, and ten is better than two. I owe where I am in my life to these women. I just have such an incredible debt of gratitude to the women who had the bravery to stand up and say, this isn't fair, I'm better than this. I think feminism today has been thought of as such an unfun, sort of dutiful gate we had to pass through, when in fact, the feminists of the time were young women who were drinking at bars with their colleagues and having sex with the wrong guys or the right guys and falling in love and making decisions about friendships and, and families. And they had a real love of life, and it was very, very joyful. And the sisterhood they found in being feminists was not this rageful exercise. It was a really exciting feeling of empowerment, and I'd like to show that.